Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Today I am at Redmond Work and Western Wear, and I am recording a video here, and they were nice enough to let me review the Justin 1409 cowboy boot. Let's get into it. Okay, so one of the things that I'm interested to try with this boot is the J Flex insole. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, and I've heard a lot of things about it. So it is, well, it's really cushiony, and I don't think, can you remove it? Let me see. Mm, it's not coming out, and I don't wanna, I don't want to try too hard. I want to try it on. It is a 10 and a half D, which should be my size. This will be interesting to see if it fits me. I am wearing a 10 and a half D right now on my Abilene's, so it should work out okay. But uh, we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Let's try it on. Now this is a Mexican-made boot. Ooh. It's it is uh, tough right when you put it on. It's, I mean, when you think about this between the Tacovas, the Tacovas is really, really soft. This is a really, really tough, tight leather. Um, it doesn't give, it doesn't give as much as some of the other boots that I have. This is probably one of the most restrictive boots that I've tried. Let's try the other one on. So the, the leather in this is really restrictive, but I wonder if they have a, a wider size. This, I might need a wider, because it's super tight and because of the way that the leather feels so stiff and restrictive, like they need a lot of breaking in, it feels like. Hey Marcus, yeah. do you have this in double E? I'm gonna try the double E. That's what it looks like. Same boot, still the 1409. This is just the double E width. And it still has the J Flex sole, which is very cushiony, except more hard right at the instep and the heel is a, a little bit different of a material but at the ball of the foot and the toes it's super cushiony almost like a, a comforter would be on your bed or something now usually I don't wear double E so we'll have to see about this okay that was too loose there that's too loose so this is gonna to be too wide, but the 10 and a half D is too tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the 11 D and see what happens with that. All right, so this is the 11 D of the 1409. Let's try this. Still same everything with the J-Flex insole. Okay, that's a much better fit right there. Still a really tough boot. I do have my Dan Post boot socks on right now. For me, I would have to say that 11 Ds would be my just in size, but this boot is really tight. It needs to be really broken in. This does not feel broken in at all. I mean, I, I was able to slip it on and it feels nice, but wow, uh, it feels like you're gonna have to work these quite a bit. Right in here, it's super stiff. This leather is stiffer than any other boot that I've tried on. I mean, this Abilene had pretty stiff leather, but this Justin here is even more stiff. Wow. I mean, 
If that's what you like, I know there's a lot of folks out there who really like that stiff feel and uh, like to break it in from there. And if you do, that, this might be a good boot for you. Compared to the last review of the Abilene's, it's a super stiff leather. So Marcus here at Redmond Work and Western Wear just helped me out with this because I was wondering why this leather was so stiff. He says it's the finish that Justin uses on the leather that makes it so stiff. And he said that, uh, you know, it may need a little bit more time when conditioning it. So, you know, when you're conditioning a boot and you will let it dry for, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute to, uh, uh, I don't know, two minutes, whatever. This one is going to take a little bit longer because it's, uh, it's tougher for the conditioner to go through this finish that Justin uses. Uh, very interesting. It is a extremely stiff boot. It feels tight when you're wearing it, even though it's not necessarily restrictive. It's just the stiffness of it that uh, provides a little bit of a restriction to when you're walking and you notice it like right away. You're like, wow, that is so stiff. It's going for around 169, which is a good price for this boot. And with the finish that they use, even though it makes the leather super stiff, man, these are gonna shine up so nice. It really feels like it's gonna take twice the time it would on, a, on another boot that doesn't have this kind of finish. Uh, but then again, it will shine up really nice. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to Redmond Work and Western Wear. If you guys are around here, ask for Marcus because he knows his shit. He's a good guy to come to. Okay, so I kind of wanted to wrap up my thoughts on this Justin 1409 model boot. Like I said, it was super stiff. If you are brand new to cowboy boots and this is the boot that you're thinking about getting, it is a entry level cowboy boot at its price. And when you put it on, just know that all boots aren't that stiff right out of the box. Also the J flex insole. I was kind of impressed about how comfortable it was, but it was very fabricy, like a comforter on your bed would be like I said. And I could see that as being a disadvantage. If you are trying to wear this boot every single day, I could see that ripping and tearing in the boot. And that's not what you want. It's not gonna be as good as a leather insole or even some of the gel insoles that Dan Post is using. On top of that, there's a leather sole, but there's no wooden pegs, which is a cost savings, also keeping that so that the boot is sort of like an entry level boot. It could be a nice first boot, but uh, it might not last as long as some of the other boots that either have rubber soles or have wooden pegs to keep the leather sole in place. It, it would be a nice starter boot. It's gonna look great when you shine it up and it, it's clean and you shine it, but man, is it stiff. It is super stiff. At Wet Redmond Work and Western Wear, they're selling it for 169 right now, which is a good price compared to the prices online. Online, I saw it for like 179 to 190. So it's a very competitive price in store. So if you are in the Seattle area and you're interested in getting this boot, uh, definitely stop by there. Ask for Marcus. He'll hook you up with the Justin 1409 boot. They got lots of different sizes there. I like the toe on the boot. I like the toe look. The, that medium round toe was great. Uh, the stitching in the shaft or the tops or the uppers or whatever you want to call it looked great. Uh, I like the silver of that. A lot of, a lot of black boots just go with the black stitching and sometimes you miss out on the whole artistry of the stitching itself. But I, I enjoyed seeing that silver stitching in the shaft of this boot. Overall, uh, it's a good entry level boot, but just be sure to know that they're not all that stiff right out of the box. 
Thank you so much for watching today. If you have Justin's or if you have this Model 1409 boot or if you have tried the J-Flex insole and you want to correct me, please do so in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on this boot. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Peace. Oh, how these Justin's feel so stiff. But still they can make your spirits lift And make you stand so tall And it's better than wearing no boots at all Thanks for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I will see you next time. Peace.